focusing because we, we, we should be able to see Rob use a lot of his uh, good projectiles to kind of keep Olimar out. But that's kind of what Olimar wants at the same time, especially on a small battlefield. They're gonna, oh, Rob's gonna try to get at him immediately, and he immediately is at 41%. So, everything I said about side B just kind of went out the window. But, Rob got in and almost evened up the percent in one move. Small battlefield's not doing Olimar any favors. But neither is Rob not getting these Pikmin off of it. But the side B will do it. It's also a great tool for getting Pikmin off of you. The gyro came out. They traded with purple Pikmin. But the back air connects. And he takes Swigzy on first stock. Okay, what's Rob's plan here? Stay up in the air. Don't let Olimar get easy, quick hits on you or throw his Pikmin. That hitbox kind of hurts to see. Gyro didn't get much off of it. But the down tilt, not quite connecting into grab. We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see Swigzy make a little bit of an adjustment because his normal game plan doesn't seem like it's working here. Because, I mean, Rob's not really giving him time to breathe, and especially to pluck Pikmin and throw throw him out like the projectiles they are. He's just not letting him move. That's the decision has to be made. Okay, is he gonna pluck Pikmin? No, he's still sticking with just the purple. That's all he needs apparently. He's playing for the kill. He's at 151. There it is, up smash. That'll take it. But he's at 80. He's at 95 on his so on second stock. Only at 32 on Rob. But down throw gonna do it into back air, throwing the purple. Yellow keeping him out. I don't think Rob makes it back. Oh, he stage spiked him. But Rob's not done yet. No, he is. Yep. Swigzy able to pull that stock back. I mean, at starting at 90. You know, this game might actually still be Swigzy's. And we have to see. That was a good up air. We're going to see how Rob doesn't really want him to go anywhere. The down air connects, but it doesn't really go exactly as Rob planned. He almost extended the hitbox into Olimar with that back air. Grab got spot dodged, and then double back air. Uh, the speed at which he plucks Pikmin will always be amazing. Gyro doesn't connect, but the forward air does. 78 to 0. This is still anyone's match. It's only game one as well. There's still many adjustments to be made in this game. Although, Rob's, it's not looking good for Rob. Swigzy seems to have found, he's found his flow. Wow, Olimar's too small. The beam went over his head. Amazing. Great Olimar play. Oh, it looks like he's just playing with him now. That's not cool. Ooh, he didn't hit him with the down air, though. Like I said, this game isn't over yet. Being at 154, he just has full rage. But he does get hit a lot harder. The white Pikmin would have, might have been a death sentence for him. But not quite. The Nair doesn't land, but yep, up throw. Up throw purple Pikmin. That'll take it. Game one, we saw Swigzy came Swigzy didn't really initially know what to do with the Rob. And Rob was really taking full advantage of it. But Swigzy found his he found his footwork and was able to get through all of uh, Rob's projectiles and get in and really land his Pikmin. He wasn't plucking Pikmin as much either because he realized he wasn't really gonna get the time to do so. So instead of doing that, he just decided, alright, I'll just fight back. All right. Rob and Olimar yet again. Sticking to our guns. Let's see. On FD this time. No platforms. And they have a little bit more room to work with than Small Battlefield. Olimar should be able to use this to his advantage. But so can Rob with those projectiles. Gyro's not a bad projectile, but he's really not getting time to move. Olimar's keeping the pressure up. Swigzy's playing really aggressively with his Pikmin. Ooh, the whistle just in case he threw another fair out. The Pikmin taking the gyro for him. He, wow, that was a hard spike, but he was able to di left, tech the stage, and get out of there. And the back air with the purple Pikmin gonna send him. Ooh, the up air hitting through ledge though. Rob's not a slouch either, and he's proving it. But you can't walk up to someone and up smash like that. I don't know if that scoop is gonna work. He's got a blue Pikmin on him. He's not. It's just. It's just racking up percent. He's calling his Pikmin back. The Nair still... The Falling Nair. The Rapid Jab? Or, sorry, that was Jab Lock. Excuse me. Olimar doesn't have a Rapid Jab. He's really just floating over everything. He's really using the Spot Dodges really, really well. The Spot Dodges are coming in big for Swigzy. Although the Up Smash, not so much. Purple Pikmin, though, keeping the trade even. 
I say even, even though Swig Z's a stock up. But he could he tried to spot dodge that one, but the grab still landed. Doesn't die though. Great DI from Swigzy. But he tapped the gyro into down smash. That'll kill. But I mean, yep, one hit. That's what I was about to say. One hit will just take Rob take Rob's stock, and now we're a full stock up for Swigzy. Those neutral bees aren't hitting because Alomar's too short either. The down throw. I'm sorry, up throw. Yeah, the Swigzy's able to just weave through all of this and leave those Pikmin on him. He got taken to 30%, even more, just off of two Pikmin. God forbid it's God forbid it's a white one, but the side B will take it. Oh, well. Swigzy's showing a commanding presence in the neutral right now. He's really not giving balls time to breathe at all, and the Rob is suffering for it. But the side B reflected, he knew he would throw a Pikmin, so he side b reflected it, and killed him with it. Although, it's not looking good for Rob. This game's not over. Well, you can't take hits like those. It is over. Yep. Steal the stock, bro. He earned it. I don't know what you mean about theft. That man, he beat him up. Character commits a robbery every day. I believe you. You told me Olimar commits a robbery every day.